didn't know what to expect from today's training, but I knew it was going to be fantastic. Um, every single exercise that we did, I was incredibly grateful for because each one of those things allowed me to dive deeper into each of the things that our nonprofit does. Um, I really like the projections. I really like the marketing strategies. Um, marketing is something that I really love to do. So having to hone in on it and be more specific, that was really helpful. So I loved it. For people that have nonprofits, I would definitely suggest for them to come to this training. Um, a nonprofit, for profit, it's all about business ultimately. Um, even though us nonprofit people aren't in it for money, um, but it's really good to have a strategy, it's really good to have a structure, and it's really good to have you know goals that are that you focus on and they have the whole board of directors and the whole staff can work together to accomplish those goals, so we need to know what goals those are. Um, it was really helpful for me to do every single one of the exercises that so I'm definitely going to leave here today and, and use these tools and um, hopefully check back in a year from now and tell you how they're going. The success, <laughs> exactly. Perfect, awesome. Thank you, Krista. Thank you. How did the day go for you? What did what'd you think? It was good. Uh, I think the projections was probably the biggest part that I really enjoyed. Um, did you think you would say that coming into it? No, no. <laughs> I think breaking down the offerings mm -hmm. and really being specific about which offerings um, were generating which income mm -hmm. and where those led up to, that was probably the biggest aha. Okay, good. Talk to me a little bit about some of the exercises that maybe you had some new realizations and yep. discoveries maybe that helped you think different about your graphic design business. So I think the positioning statement, you pushed me to really, what is the benefit? Mm -hmm. What am I giving the customer? What is their trigger point? What's the pain point? I think rethinking that through has been the best for me today. Okay, good, awesome. And um, what did you think of the process? We partnered you up with somebody. Yeah. We were very much working in a very collaborative setting. How was that for you? It was great because honestly, I was paired up with Christy. Mm -hmm. um, different organization, different industry. So brought some different insights mm. to my business and vice versa. I think I had some insights for her that she didn't think about. Um, so that was really great. I think it was almost better not to be in the same industry or in the same category mm -hmm. um, to give each other help. Yeah, so kind of different perspective, so to speak, yeah. in, in approaching this. Good, okay. And would you recommend this to other Yes, very helpful. I think um, going forward, I think the action plan is mm -hmm. probably super helpful, just being accountable. Um, these are the next steps you have to take because mm -hmm. um, we all kind of have an idea of where we're going to go But breaking that down into steps. I think is going to be the, the key part. So Perfect. Awesome. Great. great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So Gail, how'd the day go for you? What were some aha moments? What, what did you get out of the day? You know what? The day was great in that I got exactly what I wanted in a real specific plan day by day exactly what I need to get done to reach my goals. Um, and I feel confident that just by following the plan that I set up through really the guidance of um, you guys today really helped in me getting there. Awesome. And how how were you feeling prior to this? Kind of, you know, this over maybe the last year of building your business. Was this some maybe a missing piece in the puzzle? Absolutely. I think it was pretty fragmented because I have a couple different businesses and I do a lot of different work and I'm in a lot of different directions and have more ideas than I could possibly implement. So really kind of determining which ones were the most important ones, which the one which ones are gonna be best for my budget, which ones are actually gonna be effective getting the feedback from the group yeah. in terms of really how um, you know the positioning statement um, really is is received and having a big group response mm -hmm. um, is incredibly helpful because you don't always get honest communication and everyone's wanting it and giving it so I really appreciated that Absolutely. so do you feel empowered to achieve the goals that you've set out oh Totally. Awesome. And I just feel motivated as well. I think that it just kind of gives you a jump start where it gives you, you know, sometimes it's like, what am I going to do today? Where where am I going to go? Now I'm like, oh, I know what I have to do and I need to get it done. Exactly. <laughs> so, and, um, and so you're not, what I heard a lot of folks say in the session today throughout different points 
is, you know, I, I'm doing lots of stuff in my business, but the aha moments of being able to say, okay, I, this is what I need to focus on because this is really driving revenue, right? I mean, this is revenue generating activity, so to speak. Absolutely. A schedule, a, a schedule is helpful. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm pretty flexible in what I do and when I do it and yeah. how I'm, you know, working when. And so this is actually going to really, I think, be a more productive way for me to go forward, um, at least, and, and quantifiable, so. Absolutely. What I appreciate about being here in Hera Hub and the labs is going through the process. So yes, 90% of the stuff I know how to do. And for the 10%, yeah, kind of know how to do that too, just don't want to. But what this lab forces you to do is to really get it down on paper, start to look at it. And my next adventure is way so much larger than me this time. I really needed the feedback. Even though I know how to drill into the financials and all the rest of that, in my mind, I, I thought, okay, um, I want to be able to scale. That is actually going to be my biggest challenge because the yeah. work is there. I have to be able to scale. And I thought, okay, I want, by the end of the year, first year goal, it would be nice to have 10 customers. Mm -hmm. So, okay, my nana put the financials in, did all the rest of that, and then thought, oh, wait a minute. When I had the, the um, products and I looked over, I'm like, that was just four customers. Mm. So then I had to go back and actually adjust, mm. which meant we were gonna have to scale up faster. And then I thought, uh-oh, yeah. So you really need a path. What I love about the techniques mm -hmm. that you guys use mm -hmm. is we're just going through doing the exercises, doing them on the paper, writing down our thoughts and everything. And then at some point you bring everything together. Most programs, ebooks, books, seminars, they start you at the end and you're like, well, oh, I don't know how to do this. Mm -hmm. And so you have found a way to just bring all the little pieces and you don't even realize that you're about to create your position statement, that you're yeah. about to do your financials. So you've already done the work behind it. Yes. Now it all clicks together. Yes, yeah, so you got all the details, you just go back. And so as I was doing the financials, yeah. we had already done the high level yeah. goals. Yeah. I already knew what I was mapping to. Yeah. And then when we got to the part where we did, okay, what are you gonna do in the next three months? Well, I had all the pieces I needed to be able to see, okay, this is what I'm doing next week for the next three months. Yeah. Exactly. Yes, and Clicks so I together. plan to join the next step. Yeah, the accountability piece. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. It's yeah. such a screaming deal yes. when you look at it. And I can say with certainty, the folks that haven't joined the accountability group and been kind of kept in this momentum yeah. have not. Right. And, and I need to get testimonials from them, sadly, because it really makes such a big difference because if nobody, as an entrepreneur, it's like, we can do whatever we want every day when we wake up. It's like, and that's part of the problem. Right. It's like, you know, you come out of some structure into entrepreneurship and it's like, oh, okay, right. I gotta do the hard stuff too. Yes. And, and not that we're not all disciplined, but Right. You know, like Maria said, it's like, oh, it's so easy to get on Instagram and go, oh, I have a new follower and get all like caught yes. up in that. And it's you're like, like so and that doesn't mean right. anything to your bottom line. Well, and the other thing too is at some point you're going to run into a challenge. So you got a couple choices. You can get online and Google, try to find the answer, or because you're already in a group, you already have the support, you reach out mm -hmm. and you're going to give us the answers. Hey, how'd you deal with this? What yeah. worked for you? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. High five. Good job, girl. Woohoo! I feel really directed now. Yeah. I, I came into this very confused um, with my objectives for the summer because I'm here for a short time and I want to get a lot done. Mm -hmm. So now I feel like I have direction and I've learned Excel <laughs> and I've learned how to do projections and I know what I the steps I need to take to meet my goals. Yeah, development. And leading up to this, I know you've tackled doing a business plan. I know you've tackled a lot of things. Yes. But I, I promised you that you would get a lot of clarity today and have a lot of really um, great time to think about that. Focus on where you need to spend your time and energy. And that was a big question for me because I felt really scattered. It, and I felt like I was wasting time mm -hmm. and doing things that were probably going to get me um, not to reach my goals <laughs> yeah. uh, or maybe eventually but not for a long time yeah. so now I have the strategy taught to me about how 
I have to focus in the direction of where I can get faster. Um, I don't know if I'm expressing myself right. I'm gonna get there quicker mm -hmm. and do less yes. rather than do more and not get <laughs> and anywhere. And keep spinning your wheels. <laughs> and yeah. go into a vicious cycle. It's yeah. like that whole, um, there's a saying, you know, maximum concentration, minimum effort. Yeah. And I felt like I was doing maximum effort, <laughs> minimum <laughs> concentration. So today, sort of summarizes that yeah it, it, teach, it taught that That's so very very good awesome yeah. and what was your biggest aha for the day my biggest aha for the day was having a calendar mm -hmm. having a calendar with focus points mm -hmm. because before that it was very everything was very scattered yeah yeah. So good, awesome! I can't wait to hold you accountable to that calendar. <laughs> yes, and it, <laughs> it's good to know that I'll be asked if yeah. I'm doing what I'm doing. <laughs> it's good to answer to somebody because yes. answering to yourself, you end up, oh, I can do that tomorrow, yeah. or you know, yeah. get other distractions come up for everybody. So it's, sometimes it's hard to stick to. Absolutely. One last question: When we proposed this 10x concept. How did you how did you feel? I love that concept. Okay. I love it because I want to think big. Yeah. I really want to think big and I I don't want to put limitations mm. as a limitation yeah. because I think a lot of us feel like we have limitations and there's ways to get around them and we just have to believe in ourselves and do the work. Yeah. Because nothing's handed to us for free. So, yeah. Go big so, or yeah. go home. Yeah, I, I would go big <laughs> and, that, and go home. That and has like a lot that. of meaning for you, especially. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, Good. so that that was a, that was a really nice way to end the day mm -hmm. because it made me feel like. I, I'm gonna get there. Yeah. So good. Awesome. Good yeah, job, man. Yeah, of course. Of course. Thank of course. You. So excited for you. What'd you think? <sighs> oh, that was that was tremendous. And I'll tell you, I have an accountability group, mm -hmm. and I have a business partner, and we we have plans. Mm -hmm. So this really focused me on the revenue part of my plans. Mm -hmm. So it really attached the revenue reasoning mm -hmm. behind our plan. So once you look at a plan from the perspective of the revenue that you want to get in, it does change your plan. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened. My plan changed. Okay, good. Yeah, no, I, I, I knew... A, that you were coming in with a tremendous amount of, you know, strategic thinking, both in your own business and then obviously that's what you help companies do too as well. So it's great to hear you say you, which which I knew you would, but, <laughs> but you know, you're always like, especially when somebody comes in and they've got, you know, so much business experience and, and um, is so accomplished, so to speak, it's good to hear that there was still a lot of progress that you know you made yeah. today and yeah yeah no that was tremendous i don't think you can ever really think about your business plan too much in mm -hmm. a way mm -hmm. if you're thinking about it in the way you asked us to think about it mm. like thinking about your business plan and like oh god i gotta do my business plan that's not what i mean yeah but thinking from different angles mm -hmm. and different perspectives that you and sylvia bring mm -hmm. and then the rest of the group brings mm -hmm. i think when a group gets together that also something else happens because you you know, I, I was sitting a couple of times not thinking about anything and pop, I would get an idea. Mm -hmm. So it, it kind of generates an atmosphere in which you're just putting attention on your plan. Mm -hmm. And even if I was going through going, yeah, I know that, that hasn't changed, that hasn't changed, that's good to know too. Mm -hmm. And then just the fact that you're looking at it means, oh, oh, you see something you didn't see before. Mm -hmm. So it's always good. There's something about pe having people you know are on your side. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Although, you know, we're not there to tear our business plans apart, we were very honest with each other about what we heard and whether it made sense. I mean, where were you going to have a business support group, mentoring group, and test bed mm. all in the same place? Mm -hmm. You yeah. know? Good point. Help. Uh, I feel more clarified. So it's nice to be able to see everything in color and to write it out. Mm. That's really helpful. Thank you for saying that. Can we pause on that a <laughs> yes. little bit? Because I do get pushback from folks that are like, I want to do this in, you know, yeah. on my yeah. laptop. Yeah. Like talk to me about the experience, like you said, color, writing it out. 
Yeah, I mean, your business is a living, breathing, colorful, dynamic thing. And um, I think when you are always on your computer, you're looking at the trees and you can't see the forest. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really great to be able to see the forest and then like hone in on the trees. Mm -hmm. um, and actually, I'm really inspired to do more of that. Yeah, it's like addicting, right? It is like, addicting. Like pretty much when I go through these, I like go home and all yeah. I want to do all night is like keep working on it, right? Yeah, totally. Yeah. And I want to, I want to create pieces that I can put up all over my wall mm -hmm. because it's so easy to get completely caught up in the whirlwind and mm -hmm. lose sight of your actual goals. Mm -hmm. That's super, super easy. And it's something that um, my team and I have been talking about a lot lately. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, today was, today's experience was really great. Awesome. Yeah. Perfect.